Hi, I'm Lisa Fields, the founder and president of the Jude 3 Project. Many people around the country ask me why Courageous Conversations. Well, Courageous Conversations really came from my own personal experiences. When I was growing up, I grew up in church. My father's a pastor. I grew up with my parents teaching me the Bible and the Word of God. It wasn't until I got to college that I was first challenged on an intellectual level about what I believed and why I believed it. It was taking a New Testament class thinking it was going to be like Sunday school and at the University of North Florida that definitely wasn't the case. And my professor said the first day of class, I'm going to change everything you thought you knew about Jesus. And I realized that this wasn't going to be the easy A that I thought it would be. But it actually, even though it felt like a burden at the time, became my greatest blessing and led me to the purpose that God had called me to do in life. And so I ended up switching my major from investment finance into um, religious studies and communications because I really felt like God was leading me to be an apologist. Now, what that looked like didn't come till later on, and I guess it's still evolving, but during the course of that time, I had so many different experiences. So I went to obviously a state university and took religion. So that was a more progressive experience. Then I went to seminary and was in at a conservative evangelical space. So that was a different experiences, experience. Then I grew up in a more non-denominational Pentecostal church. So I had those three experiences. And then I, while I was in seminary, I went to a Black Baptist church and so that was a different experience. And then I attended the Academy of Preachers, which introduced me to a lot of different people at seminaries across the country. And I realized in these spaces that we have caricatures and we think different things about people because we don't have relationships with them. And I began to think like and dream, what would it look like to bring these people together to have conversations about things that are relevant for the church and the culture? How can we sharpen one another with what we're learning in our individual spaces? How can we overcome the caricatures? And how could this help a divided world that we're living in. I believe that if anybody should be leading in this time, it should be the church. We shouldn't be talking at or talking about, we should be talking to. And that's what I hope Courageous Conversations is. So we dreamed up this dream to have a courageous conversation. And we had the first one, the first several one on Google Hangouts, where we brought together some of the leading thinkers from both sides to talk about issues that were relevant for the church and the culture. And then a good friend of mine, Charlie Date, said, I think you should have an event to host it. And he said, I'll host it um, in at my church, at Progressive Baptist Church in Chicago, Illinois. And so we had our first one last year on Labor Day in Chicago, Illinois, that was a historic event where we brought together 24 scholars, pastors, and thought leaders to talk about issues that were relevant for the church, like the authority of scripture, what the Bible says about sexuality, justice, and it was a phenomenal time. So I'm excited to be doing it again for the second annual Courageous Conversations because I believe it's important. There are so many lessons in life caught, not taught. I believe what better way to do this than watching 28 scholars and pastors do it over a two day period. So I'm excited about this. Join us August 1st and 2nd in Atlanta, Georgia for Courageous Conversations. It's gonna be a blessing to you.